Hello all, welcome to my second YouTube video ever. Um, so last time we started, stopped uh, just provisioning, I dropped it on DigitalOcean and only running an apt update command without all these other things. Now I've been doing some extra work and some research and I've added some few commands extra in here. So one thing what we're doing now is we're doing an apt update and then just doing an app upgrade to make sure we have all the latest packages. After that, I'm just installing some default packages that I like. And then just as a last thing, so any changes we're going to make will be in here. And as a last thing, all I'm doing is I'm just adding some security to the server. So um, the only three ports that I want out is the SSH, the standard HTTP, and then the standard HTTPS. And then all this force does, it just makes this um, non-interactive because this UFW enable without the force is an act interactive command, which means that it's asking for a prompt when it runs. And because we're doing this via Terraform, we can't provide it any input. So we have to do this force for it to actually be able to complete it's what it's supposed to do. As last time, we have a connection here that is, tells us how we are going to connect to this DigitalOcean droplet once it's executed. And then these are the list of commands. So what we need to do now, or what I would like to do, as you may have um, gotten from the name, is I would like to turn this into a Jenkins server. So one of the nice things is DigitalOcean does have a tutorial On how to install Jenkins on a droplet. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and follow this tutorial and hopefully then Terraform would be able to run all of these commands that they provide us to be able to install the Jenkins server. So once I've done all of that what I would like to do is this. Okay. Don't forget the comma themes. I do that all the time. Um, let's see. Un next un that one. Looks like I have to run this again. Come on. Okay. I'm getting to the Jenkins part. Okay, as a start, Jenkins would also probably like port 8080. So before we get into the Engines, let's just make sure we can get Jenkins running. Okay, so then they provide us with this. Okay. Yeah. Let's try this. So go to Terraform directory. Go to Jenkins. First things that we need to do as last time is run Terraform init. So it installs the tools that it needs, specifically the provider for DigitalOcean. And then let's see what happens if I try to apply. Okay. So now it's busy starting the server. So another change since last time is I dropped the one because I'm only really looking for one Jenkins server. Land, the region stays the same, but I've increased the size to one gigabyte because Jenkins is a Java service and they can be quite resource intensive at times. Okay. So let's see. And we're still waiting. And I forgot to put them. Okay. So apparently I've been really stupid. So let's let's do that. Okay. So what we need to do is that the infrastructure one goes. Um, why? Mm 
Let's run this as well. So let's try this again now. Boring part over. What we should have now is a working Jenkins server. So if I go Terraform show, I should get an IP address based on the rules that I gave it last time. I should be running a Jenkins server on here somewhere. Excellent. So I'm going to stop the video here because I think the very next thing I want to do before I do the actual Jenkins setup is start doing engines. And I first have to write the config files for that. So I very much appreciate that you joined me. Thank you very much.